Not everybody lives and dies by fuel efficiency. Some industry segments need an engine capable of a higher level of performance, and there are those that just like to drive big, beefy engines. For those folks, Cummins offers the X15 Performance Edition. Hi, I'm Jim Park with today's trucking and heavy-duty trucking. Cummins formally introduced the X15 Performance Edition in July at its Four Strokes of Genius event held at the Transportation Research Centre in Ohio. I drove a pre-launch version of the engine back in February. Let me tell you, if it's power and punch you want, this engine delivers. The performance version of the X15 is mostly the same as the efficiency version, but with a few key hardware changes. The shape of the piston bowl is different, which increases the compression ratio. It uses a different fuel pump and turbocharger along with a high-flow EGR cooler. There are also modifications to the piston cooling nozzles and exhaust valves for higher reliability. Published specs for both engines show the same dry weight at 2,961 pounds. The X15 Performance version is available in nine rating configurations, from 485 horsepower and 1650 pound-feet up to 605 horsepower and 2050 pound-feet, with stops along the way at 505, 5 and a quarter, and 565. Maintenance intervals on the Performance version are the same as the Efficiency version. During the press conference at the launch event, Cummins Vice President of Engineering for Engine Business, Jim Fear, described a customer who's already using the X15 Performance engine. We've had customers pushing this engine to the limit with fantastic results. One fleet has been transporting 600,000 pounds of load with a special push-pull system with the X15 Performance Series power truck in the lead. Driving throughout the Rockies and getting about a full mile per gallon better fuel than the previous truck. I wasn't able to drive the X15 performance version on the track at the launch event, but I had driven it back in February and I had a better chance to see what 605 horsepower and 20 50 pound feet of torque can do for you. About 30 miles west of Cummins headquarters in Columbus, Indiana on Route 46 lies what the locals call Kelly Hill. It's a one mile climb of about 6 or 7 percent. Nothing major, but this is Indiana, remember? Anyway, Weighing about 76,000 pounds, I walked up the hill in sixth gear from a standing start, and the engine wasn't even breathing hard. I took the hill at 1150 RPM, where the full 2050 pound feet of torque resides, and it was actually gaining speed on the hill. What gear did you just climb that in? Uh, that one. Okay. Fifth, six. Six. Yeah. Six over. Coming down the same hill a few minutes later, I needed only the second stage of the engine brake, and even then I was decelerating on the hill. I did manage to get the engine brake up to 1700 RPM once during the day, and the stopping power was amazing. I sure wish I could have tried it on a serious hill like Fancy Gap or the Grapevine. The X15 Performance version is not available with the Cummins Adept Feature Suite, nor the Eaton Cummins Smart Advantage powertrain option. For starters, it wasn't designed with fuel efficiency as its primary attribute. Secondly, the 2050 pound-feet of torque is more than the current Smart Advantage transmission and drivetrain can accommodate. That's not to say you can't spec another AMT behind the engine. The truck I drove had an Eaton Fuller RTLO 18913A 13-speed manual transmission and Dana DSP41 rear axles with a 3.36 to 1 ratio. Even with all that horsepower, fuel economy for the engine is actually pretty good when it's driven properly. I've seen published figures indicating it's getting about 1.5 miles per gallon less than the X15 efficiency engine rated at 450 1850. It does come with the Cummins new single module after treatment system, as well as the architecture to support Cummins connected diagnostics, connected calibrations, and connected tuning applications. The beefy performance version won't be for everybody, but there are certainly segments of the market that'll be happy to see this one come along, especially anyone who hauls heavy, like Canadians. That completes our look at the Cummins new X series engines for 2017, the X12 and the X15 efficiency and performance editions. They're all compliant with GHG Phase 1 requirements, and they're all on our YouTube page at Today's Trucking 1. For Heavy Duty Trucking and Today's Trucking, I'm Jim Park at the launch of the 2017 X15 engine at the Transportation Research Center in East Liberty, Ohio.